Hello, I'm Stuti Shukla. You are watching Krishi Jagran Business. So let's start with the Agri Global news updates. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Wednesday underlined that hunger levels around the world are at a new high and made a call for action to fight the current surge in global food insecurity. He made the appeal during the Global Food Security Call to Action chaired by US Secretary of State Antony Blinken in New York. The UN chief said the number of several food insecure people had doubled in just two years from 135 million pre-pandemic to 276 million today with more than half a million experiencing famine condition, an increase of more than 500% since 2016. These frightening figures are inexcritably linked with conflict as both cause and effect, he said, if we do not feed people, we feed conflict. The World Bank will make $30 billion available to help stem a food security crisis threatened by Russia war in Ukraine, which has cut off most grain export from the two countries. Reporters, viewers citing a report on food security plans from the international financial institutions. The total will include $12 billion in new projects and $18 billion funds from existing food and nutrition-related projects that have been approved but have not been disbursed. USDA Congress would create a loan and guarantee program to expand the competition in the meat processing industry under a bill approved by the House Agriculture Committee on Tuesday. The bill would authorize by $20 million a year through 2024 for the loan guarantee. Abigail Spanberger, a Virginia Democrat, said that the bill would be a permanent version of the $500 million USDA initiative announced last summer. European dairy cooperative Arla Foods and Royal DSM are set to start a large scale on farm pilot with a methane reducing feed additive boiver on 10,000 dairy cows across three European countries. Long standing global research and on farm trials show that the bovier can reduce methane emission by around 30% with continued high animal welfare, supporting the company's commitment to sustainable dairy production. Separate farmers dumped tons of milk and lit bales of hay outside the presidential palace in the capital Nicosia on Wednesday. In protest at high price and production issues, goat and sheep farmers in non-compliance with regulations on production of halami cheese has left them with a glut of milk that they are unable to sell or use. High prices of animal feed have added to the problems. For just info, halami is a traditionally made with goat and sheep milk and is listed as with a protective designation origin status from the European Union. But increasingly, cheese makers have used more cow's milk considered more palatable for export market. U.S. green futures fell on Wednesday following a report about the United Nations effort to restore Ukraine grain shipments and as in forecast of ample Russian supplies added to the impact on sentiment of expectations, high prices will curb demand, reported Reuters. Corn and soybean futures also slide as falling wheat price led profit-taking traders said UN Chief Antonio Guterres is expected to publicly disclose on Wednesday that he is in talk with the European Union, Russia, Turkey, Ukraine and the United States to try restore Ukraine grain shipment and revive fertilizer export from Belarus and Russia. For more updates, stay connected with Krishi Jagran Business. Thank you.